Watch over 200 lessons on youtube.com slash pgmpiano. Hi guys and welcome to this original lesson which is for Ludovico Einaudi's Divanir. Now I've made a lot of lessons for other Ludovico Einaudi songs too and if you want to watch them please take a look in the description box down below because I've got a link to every lesson right there. For now though let me play a little part first and then I'll tell you exactly how to play it. Okay, so that's for the first two sheets. This is sheet one, and we'll do sheet two later, obviously. Right hand plays an A, and the left hand plays A, E, and then it's A, G for five times, so. Okay, uh, you can mind them, I play them together, and then just the left hand. And then the right hand plays a C, and the left hand plays F, C, and then A, G again for five times, so... Okay, combine them exactly the same way, play left and right together, and then just the left hand. Okay, let's do the entire sheet slowly, and then we'll take a look at the next one. Okay, just like that, let's move on to sheet two. Okay, so this is the second part of the intro I just played. It's basically the same kind of stuff. The right hand plays a B, and the left hand plays G, D, and then A and G for five times. You could bind them and play them together. Okay, just like that. And then the right hand is going to play a G right here, and the left hand will play E, B, A, G, a, B, and then A, G for three more times. Okay, so like this. Just like that. And you can mind by playing them together again. Just like that. Let's do this entire sheet slowly, and then we'll take a look at sheet three. Let's take a look at sheet three. Okay, so this sheet is exactly the same as sheet one with one little exception. In the left hand, you used to play A, E, and then A, G for five times. Right now, you're gonna play A, G for three times, and then it's gonna be C, G, A, G. Okay, so left will be A, E, A, G, A, G, A, G, C, G, A, G. And then for the second box, it will be F, C, and then A, G for four times, and then C, G. Okay, so... Like that. Let's do the entire sheet slowly, and then we'll take a look at sheet four. Just like that, let's take a look at sheet four. And sheet four is exactly the same as sheet two, with the exception that you're not gonna play this G in the right hand, okay? So in the second box, you don't play anything in the right hand. That's the only difference. Let's do the entire sheet slowly, and then we'll take a look at sheet five. Okay, just like that. Now let's take a look at sheet five. Okay guys, and before we continue, I would just like to say that this song has a lot of different parts to it, and I'm going to teach you every single part, don't worry about that, but it's not necessarily the same order in which I teach you. Okay, it is possible that I teach you sheet three, four, five, and then you would have to jump back to three and then go to six, four, seven, five, eight, or whatever, something like that. So if you want to know how to put all that stuff together, I'd suggest you take a look in the description box, click the time after overview, and the video will skip ahead to that part, and you can actually see how many times to play each part, or you can also just download those sheets above the piano via the link in the description box down below, because in the PDF file, all the sheets are numbered, and you also get the overview right there, so you know exactly when to play which sheet. Now let's continue on with sheet five. So all of these sheets are kind of alike. Sheet five looks like one and three. 
The only difference is the left hand. Right now you play A E A G A G A G A G C G. So now the C has moved to the end. Okay? So you play that like this. Okay? And then well, obviously the right hand still plays that C and then the left hand is going to play F C A G A G A G A G E G. Okay, so that's going to sound like this. Okay, so now let's do the entire sheet slowly and then we'll take a look at sheet 6. Let's take a look at sheet 6. Okay, so this sheet is exactly the same as sheet 2 again with one exception. The first box, the left hand, you play uh, G, D, A, G, A, G, A, G, A, G, C, G. So we've got a C in there again, okay? Let's do the entire sheet slowly and then we'll take a look at the next one. Just like that. It's quite easy, right, to just change one note here and there. Let's move on to sheet 7. This one is most similar to sheet 5. So the left hand is going to be A, E, A, G, A, G, A, G, A, G, C, G. Exactly the same as in sheet 5. And then the left hand is going to be F, C, A, G, E. Okay? G, A, G, A, G, C, G. Okay, so... Let's do the entire sheet slowly and then we'll take a look at sheet 8. Let's take a look at sheet 8. Okay, and this sheet looks a lot like sheet 4. It's nearly exactly the same. Remember, we're not going to play anything in the right hand for the second box. You just play this B right here in the first box. And then the left hand is going to play G, D, A, G, A, G, A, G, A, G, A, B. Okay? That's the only difference. Because then the left hand will continue E, B, A, G, A, B, A, G, A, G, A, G, as we're used to. Okay? So... Like that. Let's do this sheet in slow motion and then we'll take a look at the next one. And let's take a look at sheet 9. Okay, so right now we're changing it up a little bit. The right hand plays a middle C, and the left hand plays A, E, and then it's gonna be C, B for five times. Then the right hand plays an E, the left hand plays F, C, and then it's going to be C, B for another five times, okay? You can mind them in exactly the same way, play them together, and then it's just the left hand, and then together, and then just the left hand. So like this. Just like that. Let's take a look at the next sheet, which is sheet 10 already. Okay, so right on the left hand plays G, D, and then it's going to be B, A for four times, and then D, A. Okay, so like this. Like that. The right hand plays a D. Okay, just play them together. Like that. And then the left hand plays E, B, B, A, D, A, back to B, A, B, A, D, A. Right hand plays a B right here, okay? Combine them, I'll play them together, and then just the left hand. Let's do the entire sheet slowly, and then we'll take a look at sheet 11. Okay, let's take a look at sheet 11. Okay, so this sheet, sheet 11, is exactly the same as sheet 10 with one little exception. In the second box, you're not going to play a B in the right hand, okay? So it's just the D and then no B. Okay, so it's just the D right here. And then you're not going to play the B, so just the left hand. 
like that, okay? Let's take a look at sheet 12. Okay, so this sheet is exactly the same as sheet 9, with a tiny little exception. You used to play A, E, and then C, B for five times in the left hand. Right now it's gonna be A, E, and then C, B for four times, and then it's gonna be E, B. Okay, so like this. And then for the second box, it's the same story. It used to be F, C, and then C, B for five times. Now it's gonna be F, C, C, B for four times, and then E, B. Okay, so. Like that. Let's do this entire sheet slowly, and then we'll take a look at the next one. That last us take a look at sheet 13. Wow, you've reached the end of the first part of this lesson already. Great work. Now, before we move on to the next part, as you hopefully know, I've got over 200 lessons right here on YouTube, and I'm adding new ones each week. Some lessons, however, like for instance the one you're watching right now, take a lot of time to make. And when I say a lot of time, I'm talking up to 40 hours per lesson. And that's why in order to keep on learning this song, you can download the full lesson either as a member or a guest via the link in the description box down below. Doing so will provide you with the entire lesson in full HD 1080p quality, and you also get the slides I use above the piano, which come in PDF format so you can print them and learn right off of that. But most importantly, you will support me into creating more full and partial lessons right here on YouTube and longer lessons like this one, which will be available for download. So for now, download the entire lesson via the link in the description box down below and continue on learning this amazing song. I will see you there. Bye bye.